Greetings everyone. Today I'll be showing you a little bit on how to get the Singing Sunflower Pet. This is done by going to Hillsbrad Foothills and doing the quest pe uh, quest chain Peace Bloom versus Ghouls. As you can see during the game, uh, well the mini game, Sun uh, Moats or whatever you want to call them will fall from the sky. You have to right click them in order to collect them and once you collect enough you'll be able to set down a plant that will shoot any ghouls or zombies that will start coming your way. Through the first quest all you have to do is put them on the middle of the map. If you do that you're pretty much good for the first round. You don't have to worry about the other four lines just because that won't spawn until the next quest. During the second quest, you'll actually get sunflowers, which will give you even more sun motes, and it'll eventually give you some ice plants in order to shoot and slow down the zombies. Because a new one, as you can see on the screen, will pop up, and those move quite faster, have a bit more health, and I think they might hit a little bit harder. All you have to do for the second quest, though, is defend the three rows in the middle. You don't have to worry about the top or bottom just yet. During the third quest, ghouls hate migraines. A new type of monster will show up during the second half of the quest. You have to actually survive two large waves in order to complete this quest. Thankfully, they give you two new plants as well. One that's a type of uh, rock that will stop the zombies until they destroy the rock that's in their way. And a type of vine plant that will actually grab nearby enemies and hurt them. Once you survive both waves, you will get uh, the next quest. During the fourth quest, you'll get your final plant. This is a pumpkin bomb that will actually destroy every monster that's within a square of it. Left, right, up, down, or diagonal away from it. So you can use that in order to take out some of the harder enemies that are breaking through your defenses. For this one, things can get a little hectic, so I would actually suggest trying to get two full rows of sunflowers like I did and then uh, two full rows of shooter plants, and then one uh, row to slow them down. After that, probably finish up with a row of rock nuts. Uh, this can be hard to do if you're trying to defend all five at first. Sometimes what I would do would be leave one open, so that way the lawnmower at the end can take them out after they get through. That way all you have to do is defend four for a bit, and then you'll eventually have enough uh, sun motes coming down in order to build the rest of your stuff. During the last and final quest, Lawn of the Dead, you'll have uh, some time to build up your defenses before the Warden finally comes out. The Warden will on occasion throw random uh, things onto your plant spots, which will kill your plants. Sometimes they disappear and I'm not sure if the effect is still there, but I'd be careful of that. You probably want to use the same build as the previous one, so that way all the zombies that come along to try and weaken your defenses will get taken out while you can use the pumpkin bombs in order to hurt the warden. It'll take a little time and you'll have to deal with the, the warden destroying your defenses and plants but if you keep the main defense up uh, through this build, you should be able to take out the warden pretty easily with your pumpkin bombs as well. When you finally defeat the warden, you'll get to choose between two low-level items and your pet. Pretty much, just go ahead and learn your pet and enjoy your new singing sunflower. On occasion, you'll actually hear it sing. You'll just have to let it idle for a bit though. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you, and good luck!